Hi everyone, I'm Mahiro. In this class, we will learn how to count time. I guess today's class is kinda boring. But if you know how to count time, it's really helpful for you. So let's start! Perhaps some people already know how to count number. Actually, that's great. But when it comes to counting time, it's kinda different from how to count number because of some units. This difference often makes people feel confused. I know you will think after all of that study, oh no, like that. However, your efforts help you to understand how to count time easily. So your efforts are not meaningless. I'm gonna talk about how to count o'clock. It's not really complicated. You just need to add ji after Japanese number. So for one o'clock, one in Japanese is ichi. So one o'clock is ichiji. Ichiji. For two o'clock, two in Japanese is ni. So two o'clock is niji. Niji. For three o'clock, three in Japanese is san. So three o'clock is sanji. Sanji. Four o'clock is tricky one. Four in Japanese is yon. So you guess four o'clock is yonji. But when you describe time, yoji is correct. You need to delete n. That's why four o'clock in Japanese is yoji. Yoji. Please remember yoji, not yonji. Five o'clock. Five in Japanese is go. So five o'clock is goji. Goji. Six o'clock. Six in Japanese is roku. So six o'clock is rokuji. Rokuji. Seven o'clock. Seven in Japanese is nana or shichi. So you think which to use when you describe time. Nanaji is not really wrong. We mostly say shichiji when we describe seven o'clock, but we sometimes use nanaji for avoiding misheard because how to pronounce shichiji is similar to one o'clock ichiji. That's why I said nanaji is not really wrong. So basically, seven o'clock in Japanese is shichiji. Shichiji. Eight o'clock. Eight in Japanese is hachi. So eight o'clock is hachiji, hachiji. Nine o'clock is also tricky one. Nine in Japanese is kyu or ku. Which do you think correct one? Actually, kyuji is wrong. Kuji is correct one. So nine o'clock in Japanese is kuji, kuji. Please remember kuji, not kyuji. Ten o'clock, ten in Japanese is ju, so ten o'clock is juji, juji. Eleven o'clock, eleven in Japanese is juichi, so eleven o'clock is juichiji, juichiji. Twelve o'clock, twelve in Japanese is juni, so twelve o'clock is juniji, juniji. Did you remember about the clock? I will say from one to twelve o'clock twice, so that you can confirm how to pronounce. Ichiji, ichiji, niji, niji, sanji, sanji, yoji, yoji, goji, goji, rokuji, rokuji, shichiji, shichiji, hachiji, hachiji. 9時, 9時, 10時, 10時, 11時, 11時, 12時, 12時. Maybe you wonder how to say AM and PM. AM is 午前, 午前. PM is 午後, 午後. We put it before time. For example, 3 PM in Japanese is 午後 3時. 10 AM is 午前10時, like that. 
Moving on to means. O'clock has only one type of how to read, right? But means has two types of how to read, hun and pun. This makes you feel confused, and how to read some numbers also change. So you need to remember which type to use hun or pun, and how the form of the number changes. It's really complicated, but you can do it. To say blah blah means is that you need to add hun or pun after Japanese number. One is ichi, but one minute is ippun, not ichi fun. As you can see, how to pronounce one is different, and how to say minute is pun when we describe one minute. Two is ni, so two minutes is ni fun, ni fun. How to pronounce two is same, and how to say minute is fun. Actually, this is simple pattern. Three is san. So three minutes is san fun or san fun. How to pronounce three is same, and how to say minute can be fun or pun. Both are correct. You can use the one that you can pronounce easily. Actually, the difference is only which one is easier to pronounce for the speaker. Four is yon. So four minutes is yon fun or yon pun. How to pronounce four is same, and it's both type. Five is go, so five minutes is go fun, go fun. How to pronounce five is same and it's fun type. Six is roku, but six minutes is roppun, not roku fun. This is tricky one. How to pronounce six is different and it's fun type. Seven is nana, so seven minutes is nana fun, nana fun. How to pronounce seven is same and it's fun type. Eight is hachi, but eight minutes is happen, not hachi fun. How to pronounce eight is different and it's fun type. Nine is q, so nine minutes is q fun, q fun. How to pronounce nine is same and it's fun type. Ten is ju, but ten minutes is ju fun. Not ju fun. This is also tricky one. How to pronounce ten is different and it's pun type. There is something like a rule from eleven to nineteen minutes. Look at the inside of the red frame. From eleven to nineteen minutes is ju triangle number fun or pun. I mean, you just need to put ju before triangle number, and then which to read fun. Or pun depends on triangle number. For example, fifteen minutes is ju go fun because triangle number is five. I mean go, and then it's fun type. So fifteen minutes is ju go fun, ju go fun. In other examples, eighteen minutes is ju ha fun because triangle number is eight and it's hachi. Eight is pun type and tricky one, right? So eighteen minutes is ju happen, ju happen. It's the last one you need to remember. So let's do our best. Twenty is niju, but twenty minutes is niju pun, not niju fun. This is similar to ten minutes. How to pronounce twenty is different and it's pun type. There is also something like a rule from 21 to 60 minutes. It's more complicated than previous one. Look at the inside of the red frame. From 21 to 60 minutes is square number ju, triangle number fun or pun. You need to add square number before ju and triangle number after ju. And of course, which to read fun or pun depends on triangle number. I know it's complicated, so let's check example to understand clearly. Thirty-two minutes is sanju ni fun because square number is three and it's san, and then triangle number is two. I mean ni, and it's fun type. So thirty-two minutes is sanju ni fun, sanju ni fun. In other examples, fifty-seven minutes is 
57分 because square number is 5 and it's 5. And then triangle number is 7, I mean 7. And it's 分 type. So 57 minutes is 57分。57分。You think it's really complicated. But if you remember from 1 to 10 minutes in Japanese perfectly, it's easy to memorize because these rules are related with only how to count from 1 to 10 minutes. So keep it up to memorize from 1 to 10 minutes. Did you understand how to count time in Japanese? You can check by looking at this slide. And I'm gonna say from 1 to 12 minutes twice in Japanese so that you can check how to pronounce. 1分1分2分2分3分3分 or 3分3分4分4分 or 4分4分5分5分6分6分7分7分8分8分9分9分10分10分11分11分12分12分 You can listen until you can memorize perfectly. Anyway, it's time for the segment of question. I start this segment of question from previous class because I want to know you and be closer. And also, some listeners request this kind of segment. So, today's question is What time do you often eat your breakfast? In my case, I often eat breakfast at 7 30. I mean, 7時30分 How about you? Please answer in the comment section and if it's possible, I want you to answer in Japanese. I think you can do it. I'm looking forward to checking your answer. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope it's helpful for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Additionally, if it's okay with you, please share this video to your friends who want to learn Japanese. Thank you for your kindness. See you next time.